Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and this is the look we are doing today. Nice and neutral, but still dressed up. I'm going to take you through my skin first. Today I am using Ombrelis Moisturizer to hydrate and prep my skin for foundation. I'm a little bit scared of this moisturizer because of the ingredients list, but everyone else loves it, so I thought I would give it a try and see what happens. It did help my foundation to apply beautifully. This is Lancome Tantidol Ultra, my holy grail. And I'm taking my time to really press and blend that into the skin because I want to build up a little bit more coverage than I would normally wear. I want my base to be absolutely perfect because the eyes are a little bit undone on this look. To conceal and brighten today I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I'm going to be taking that in a triangle shape underneath my eye to lift and brighten, a little bit between my brows and down onto my nose, Cupid's bow, and the center of my chin. And to blend the concealer into the base, I'm using my Real Technique setting brush. I've said that a thousand times before, but this is the absolute best brush for concealer. It just blends everything in so perfectly, and you can use it to kind of pat for more coverage, and then also circular motions to really blend in. To give my face a little bit of structure today, I'm taking Lancome Le Duo, and I'm using the shade Buff, which is a little bit warmer and deeper than I would normally use to contour. But you can see I'm doing a different shape here than normal. My cheekbones are a little bit weird, and I'm experimenting with shape to get everything perfect. And once I've marked out where I want to sculpt the skin, I'm going in with my Real Technique setting brush again, and I'm just going to be blending that into the base. This blends perfectly into any base. It's so beautiful, smooth, and buttery. Once I have the forehead and jawline blended in, I'm going to start blending in the cheekbone area. You can see I made that sort of C-shape on my cheeks. I want to keep that intact, but I don't want it to be perceptible on the skin. I want it to be completely blended in, so I really kind of trace that out with the first brush and then tap over top with my foundation brush. And then I'm going in with the highlight side of Le Duo just to add a little bit of sheen and luminosity to the base on the cheekbones, top lip, and then a little bit on the chin. I'm also going to be taking this into the inner corners and underneath my brows. And again, to make sure everything is nice and seamless, I'm just tapping over all the highlighting with my foundation brush. Now that I'm done with my cream and liquid products, I'm going to be using my Dermablend setting powder. This is one of my absolute favorite setting powders. It photographs beautifully, sets the makeup beautifully, but it doesn't leave the skin looking cakey or overly powdered and I'm just dusting a very thin layer of that, especially over the under eye area where it can tend to crease, but I'm also applying a very thin layer over everything so that my next few products blend out beautifully. To reinforce that sculpting that I added before, I'm taking a little bit of bronzer. This is the Laura Geller Beach Matte Bronzer, and I'm taking that across the forehead. I'm also gonna take that up onto the cheekbones, around the jawline, pretty much anywhere that I was sculpting earlier. And then I'm going to take a thin layer kind of again everywhere just to make sure everything is nice and blended and matched up. And then of course a little bit on my neck as well just to make sure everything blends. Something I haven't used in a while but one of my absolute favorites, this is Rockateur from Benefit. It is a beautiful rosy blush that's not too too pink, just adds a nice amount of flush but still a little bit of that golden sheen right onto the cheeks. And then of course tapping over with my foundation brush to make sure everything is nice and blended. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of a highlight. Today I'm using Gilded Honey from Laura Geller. This is a beautiful gold champagne kind of color. If I put too much on, it can get a little bit dark for my skin tone, but if I just apply a light layer, it just adds the most beautiful sheen. So I'm taking that on the cheeks, nose, and lip. And then onto my typical brow routine. This is how I've done my brows in every video for probably about two years now. I use the Sorcil Daphne pencil from Lancome in the shade Medium Ash. Just fill in any little gaps, any spaces. And then I go right over top of that with my gel. I use the clear gel also from Lancome. And I just make sure that my brows are gelled up and out so they look very textured, but they aren't, um, that's sort of looking for. They're not crispy or stuck flat to my face. Now we move on to eyes. I'm actually going back to that bronzer, the same one I used on my face. And I'm taking a fluffy crease brush and I'm applying that right through the socket line of my eye and blowing that out and sort of in a, an outward elongated shape and I'm taking it onto the lower lash line as well. I'm blending this right the way up to the brow and also right into the inner corner underneath my brow. It just helps my nose to look thinner. And then because I'm using a glittery shadow next, I'm applying a little bit of my Too Faced glitter glue right onto the main portion of my eyelid and just blending that in with my fingertips. The shadow that I'm using is from Dior. It's called Fahrenheit. These are Sephora exclusive. It's kind of like a cream powder and it's got beautiful 
beautiful dimension and glitter. This one is sort of bronzy. It's got little warm flecks and cool tone flecks. And I'm just applying that with my fingertip right all across my eyelid. And I'm also going to blend it out with a fluffy brush and then use a smaller brush just to take that across my lower lash line as well to smoke everything out. To bring a little bit of light to my eyes, I'm going back to Gilded Honey and I'm applying that right into the inner corner of my eye just for a little bit of a pop there. It's not too bright, of course not white. And then for my liner, I'm using a liquid liner. This is Chocolat art liner from Lancome. It's just a nice chocolatey brown eyeliner. It's dark but it's not quite black. And then I'm going to blend that in with a small fluffy brush because I can't leave harsh lines. I just love a blended eye. I think it's super flattering for my um, soft features. And I'm going to do the same to the other eye. You can see how quick this is. I just draw a messy line and then go right back over top and blend it in. Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes with a good curl. You can see I'm kind of walking the curler up the lash to get a good curl. And then I'm going in with a dark brown mascara. This is Stephenisil's Waterproof. And I like brown on brown on brown. I just like to be very tonal. And again, I'm blonde. If you prefer black mascara or you have darker hair, black might be more flattering. But for me, I like brown. And then onto lips, a Revlon combo. Today I'm taking Seduction, I think this color is. This is one of their matte lip creams, and I'm just applying that. This is pretty much my lip color bottled with just a little bit of extra warmth to it. And I'm going to use my fingertips to press that in so that it's not super over the top, super dramatic. And to finish everything off, just a layer of the nude 3D gloss, I think it's called Smoky Topaz, right through the center to give everything that dimension and shine, and that is the finished look. I absolutely love this. I think it's super flattering. This would look good on pretty much any skin tone, any eye color, any eye shape. Just very simple, easy. If you love this look, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have any suggestions for looks you'd like to see in the future. Check out the description box if you're interested in the products that I use, they're all linked down there for you as always. Make sure you click on the icon on my face to be subscribed to my channel if you're not already, and check out the playlist that's linked on screen now, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!